there are two different ways that we could solve this question. The first way is by finding the least common denominator between all three of these fractions and then adding them all up together to simplify. We can do one, we can actually pull out this one whole, have that to the side, one plus, one fourth, seven fourths, and six eighths. To find the least common denominator between these three fractions, we need to find a number, the smallest number possible that is divisible by all three of these numbers. In most cases, we're going to have to look for a bigger number than all three of these numbers, but actually, since we have six in this numerator right here, we can divide, we can look for a smaller number. We can say four is our least common denominator, and then use either multiplication or division to get our denominators to that least common denominator. In this case, these fours would stay the same, and eight would need to be divided by two to give us four. And whatever we do to our denominator, we have to also do to the numerator. So six divided by two would give us three. Now we can rewrite this as one plus one fourth plus seven fourths plus three fourths. And when we add all of these together, one plus seven will give us eight, and eight plus three will give us 11 total. So we'll have one plus 11 over four. And to simplify this improper fraction down, we have four can go into 11 two times evenly with what remainder? Well, if we had two times four is eight, 11 minus eight would leave us with three. So we have two and three fourths as the mixed fraction version of this improper fraction. So now our final step is adding one to that mixed number and one plus two would give us three and three fourths, making answer choice B our correct answer. Now there's a second way we could have solved this question that is a little bit faster. I'll do this in a different color. If we were to first add together our two fractions that have a common denominator, we could add one plus one fourth plus seven fourths, we would get one plus, one plus seven is eight fourths. Four can go evenly into eight two times. So eight fourths is the same thing as two wholes. So this becomes one plus two, which is three. And then the only thing we have left to do from there is tack on our six eighths and simplify six eighths down. The greatest common factor between six and eight is two. So we divide the top and bottom by two to get three over four, still simplifying down to three and three fourths and making answer choice B our correct answer.